Press start. Hey everyone, Dan here and welcome back to another video where today we are back inside Photoshop with the magic pen because today we're gonna be drawing more of your comments now I picked three awesome ones from the previous video So let's get to the first one which just so happens to be from slime and diamonds gaming and it says draw a dinosaur Sucking a milkshake through his nostrils through, through his nose Ew. Okay, so we're gonna dive straight in here, and we're gonna start off with a mouth now I think I'm gonna try and do an open mouth so if we go like this then do a line across the middle and then do this. It should look not just like a toilet seat, but a mouth of a dinosaur. And you'll see why in a bit. So we bring the head around like this. There we go. That's the stuff. That's the stuff. And then we bring the body around like this. I don't know what kind of dinosaur this is, but um, it's going to be a cool one. There we go. We have a body. Now I'm going to do a bit of an eye bit here. So there's the eye and the nostrils are going to have to be like up here. So there's one there and one there. You know what? That's not too bad. <laughs> so I've added a pupil in there and now we need to do the milkshake. So we just need a glass and this glass is going to be one of the biggest milkshakes you've ever seen. Because if that's a dinosaur, then this is an absolutely massive glass and we're gonna have to do some kind of silly straw to get it in his nostril. So if we go like this and then put a little loop in it as well, there we go. And then if we do this bit as well, we can make it into a real cool crazy straw that he is sucking the milkshake out of the glass with his nostril. You strange, strange people. <laughs> now that I've made that neater, it looks really, really weird. And I kind of like how the dinosaur doesn't have any teeth whatsoever. So we're going to keep that like that. <laughs> so what I'm going to add now are some kind of like, uh, I don't even know what these are called. But Stegosaurus have them. And I think our little TDM dinosaur should have them as well. So there you go. Our dinosaur is done. But now we need to color him. And I bet most of you thought I was going to do green, didn't you? No, nope, I'm going for orange. I mean, why not? <laughs> it's an orange dinosaur drinking milkshake through its nose. It can be whatever color it likes. <laughs> there we go. Nice and orange. Now we're gonna add a few little, we're gonna go for like some brighter spots on him because he's a dinosaur. He can be whichever color he likes with whatever pattern he likes. And then we're gonna put some spots here as well. So he's kind of like a mix between a Diplodocus and a giraffe. <laughs> Perfect. Now all we need is some red to finish off the mouth. And there you go. The dinosaur is pretty much done. Now, most of you will be wondering where on earth earth the milkshake is well that's what we're gonna do right now it's gonna be kind of tricky because i need to make it so that the milkshake is in here and of course he's gonna be drinking a i think he's gonna be going for a nice strawberry milkshake so we also need to put this crazy straw into here there we go nice and then if we get rid of this line here just like this we have ourselves a silly straw going into some kind of milkshake perfect guys i don't know if you'll agree with me but i think this is the perfect milkshake color whenever i think of a milkshake i think of this color now little spoiler i don't actually like strawberry milkshake if i have a milkshake strawberry is not the flavor i choose it's chocolate but this is a perfect milkshake color and we're gonna use it. And this guy is drinking it through his nose. And I think this color right here will be perfect for the straw. Now I have to overwrite those things in a minute. Look, look at that, that looks so weird. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. We can have like little stripes on the straw. Ah, yes, mistakes can turn into masterpieces sometimes. So if we take that idea, what we can do is kind of do like stripes down it like this. Could look quite cool and I'll neaten it up in a second. But if we do these stripes, it's going to look super duper awesome. Then all we need to do is this real quick. Watch the magic. You ready? Boom. And the stripes are contained within the straw. Awesome. Now, there's one thing that we can do to improve this because he's a dinosaur. Dinosaurs don't live around here anymore. So what we're going to do is grab ourselves a dinosaur background with an awesome volcano. Yes. Oh, man, that looks so good. And I think our dinosaur is almost complete. Let me just do some finishing touches and then we're done. And there you go. There is your dinosaur drinking milkshake through a straw. 
in its nose. How weird. But anyway, Slime and Diamonds Gaming, thank you for your suggestion. On to the next one. And this one comes in from Joseph Morris and says, A unicorn doing your job filming a Minecraft video. So we're going to do a unicorn YouTuber. This is going to be cool. <laughs> so what we're going to need first is a unicorn head. <laughs> That is so, so creepy. Oh my goodness. So we are going to make this into a position so that he can record some Minecraft videos. There we go. So now we need an outfit for him. And I think we're going to do him in a suit. I don't know why I just get that kind of vibe from him. I think we should put him in a suit. We need a smaller brush than that. Actually, let's make him into one of those blob people that I like to draw. There we go. Look at that. That looks perfect. <laughs> so then we're going to do uh, a leg down here. So he's going to be standing up filming his uh, his YouTube video. Uh, we also need some screens, a camera, maybe a green screen behind him, and something that he's recording. Um, actually, you said Minecraft, so we need to do him recording Minecraft as well. So let's draw some computers and stuff. So let's just go with a big monitor like this because he's doing pretty well on YouTube. He can afford himself a nice big monitor. And then we're going to put a little trim around the edge. There we go. And then we'll put a little stand on it too. Nice. Okay. And then he's going to need a desk because otherwise all the stuff is going to fall off it now I'll fix the colors in a second it might look a little bit weird for now when we do this and then add in a couple legs like that and then like that it should make a lot more sense there we go looking good right let's color that in so it doesn't look as confusing there we go he's got his desk he's got his monitor now I'm gonna do something pretty cool I'm gonna screen grab my actual desktop this is my actual desktop I know there's loads and loads of icons on it, but we're going to place this. Where should we place it? We want to place it here. And if we adjust the layers, we should. Yeah, there you go. I've given him my actual desktop. How awesome is that? <laughs> and he's got Minecraft on it ready to record. So now he needs to be doing something because he's got no arms. He's also somehow got a computer screen, but no computer whatsoever. So let's go ahead and grab a computer real quick. I'm not sure how to do this. Just like that. And then a couple dots. And then that. <laughs> Look at that face. It looks like a face. <laughs> so we've got the computer. We also also need a mouse to go in here. So let's put a mouse there because he's right. Well, it doesn't really matter what kind of hand he uses. There we go. Oh, hoof. It's going to be a hoof. And he also needs a keyboard, but I'm going to have to fit in a very, very slim one. Oh, that's that's not going to work, is it? What is what is that? <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to have to put it in here instead. So let's put the keyboard there. And it'll work, don't worry. And then we'll just put little keys in there somehow. Nice, nice, nice. That's that's probably the worst keyboard I've ever seen. But it'll work, it'll be fine. There we go, computer all in working order, even though his keyboard is all the way to left. But we'll ignore that for now. So we need to give him an actual room now because he needs to display some of the stuff that he's earned from being an absolutely awesome YouTuber. So let's give him a floor just like this. I like this color and I think, oh no, watch out guys, watch out. No, we've got ourselves a blue unicorn. I forgot to fill him in, oh dear. <laughs> What is going on? So as I mentioned, this guy is a pretty good YouTuber. So he has earned himself a silver play button. So let's put that on his wall real quick. We're going to place this over here. I know it's backwards, but it's fine. There we go. There's his silver one, but he's one step better than that. He's got the almighty. That's right. The gold play button. Now we need to make this massive. There we go. <laughs> oh, geez. Look at this YouTuber. He is fantastic. Now, if we add a little bit of this, there we go. It matches. Awesome. So now he needs some arms. We, we've somehow forgotten to give him arms still. Let's do one going up like this and then a little hoofy kind of tan thing. <laughs> and then he's cheering because he's literally just gotten his uh, his golden play button in the post. And you know what, guys? We've actually forgotten to give him a very, very important piece of YouTuber gear. A camera, because otherwise, how is he supposed to show his beautiful face to the world? So I've gone out and bought him this bad boy just for him. For, for, as a reward for reaching one million subscribers, I got him a camera. <laughs> and he's also going to need himself a tripod. So let's bring that down like that and out a little bit. There we go. That's a tripod, guys. That's a legitimate 
tripod. There you go. And our YouTuber Unicorn is born. He's got a million subscribers at least. He's recording Minecraft and I've given him a brand new camera. So there you go. <laughs> that is it complete. Let me just add some finishing touches actually. And there you have it. Your new favorite YouTuber in the world is born. <laughs> Thank you so much, Joseph, for your suggestion. And on to the final one for today, which comes in from Sophie Collins, who says to draw an octopus with a cold in bed. So we're going to need an octopus. Bam. There we go. <laughs> now, obviously, this octopus doesn't look too sick, does he? He's, he's perfectly healthy, orange, and looking beautiful. But we're going to give him some big eyes just like this. And he is going to look... So ill, it's unreal. So if we give him some big black eyes, just like this, we can make him look super cute and make us feel very, very sorry for him. <laughs> All we need to add is a little bit of kawaii. There we go. And a little bit here as well. It's very, very hard to draw small on this. Does that look good? Yeah, that looks fine. And he also needs like an upturned mouth because, you know, he's a very, very sad little octopus. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and we're also going to give him a thermometer to check his temperature. There we go, poorly little squid. Now, what I think we should also add is, like, some blue lines. Now, I've seen this used in, like, anime and stuff, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to draw it because I'm just terrible. But if we add some, like blue underneath the eyes is going to look a little bit sad and if we put it below the thermometer there we go that actually looks really cute oh i feel really sorry for him now because he's in bed and feeling a little bit sick i'm going to try and give him a bubble hat because he's trying to keep warm he's wrapped up in bed well he will be in a second and i'm going to give him a bubble hat there we go. Awesome. It should also be red because he it will kind of match him and he's all about matching. Even when he looks ill, he always wants to look awesome. There you go. We've got a perfectly, well, I was going to say a perfectly good squid, but he's not feeling too well, is he? So we're going to put him inside a big cozy bed. Let's put the back bit. What is the back bit of a bed even called? I have no idea. And then we're going to put... How do you draw a bed? Like this. Yeah, that looks okay. And then we put like a big post here. Then I'll neaten up the lines in a sec. This is this is a giant bed, especially for an octopus. Okay, that, that'll do for now because we're not too good at drawing beds, as I found out today. So what we're going to do now is like a bed sheet. But we don't want to cover all of him because he's an awesome looking squid. So let's go ahead and put like a rolled up bit here. And then bring that around like this. There we go. And then add the rest of it down to here there you go looking very snug mr squids and after we add some color in here it will look absolutely perfect and if we finish up the beds here he will be very very close to being complete oh he is so cute all tucked up in bed oh no we've forgotten like a pillow or something i need to fix that there we go that's a lot better that's a bit more comfy now mr squid isn't it very very nice indeed. Let me just get that bit there. And there he is, all snug and ready to go. Now, we just need to do a background. And then I think we're pretty much done with this poorly squid. Now, one thing I am going to add is a window to the outside world. Now, I imagine him living in, like, a kind of a SpongeBob community. So, I'm going to give him almost a submarine-style window where he's going to be seeing the ocean outside and he's gonna be so sad oh why did i make myself feel so bad and there we go the outside is done he wants to be swimming with the kelp and stuff but anyway there we go there is your octopus in bed let me just add a couple finishing touches and then we're done and there you go it is complete so sophie thank you so much for your suggestion this is one of my favorites the potato from the last video if you haven't seen that yet i'll put that in the description below that one's my favorite so far but this is a very close second but apart from that guys thank you so much for this video if you did enjoy it please leave a big fat thumbs up that would be awesome i'm glad you're enjoying this series as much as i am because it's really really fun and also you guys need to leave your comments in the comment section down below to have your chance for your comment to be featured in the next video and i might just draw it so leave those suggestions in the comment section down below and i will look forward to reading them next week Apart from that, thank you again so much for watching. If this happens to be the first video you've seen by me, then please do consider subscribing to join Team TDM today for daily gameplay videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!